So this video is on the proof by contrapositive. Uh, and a contrapositive, easy to understand here. If we're trying to, to prove that P implies Q, sometimes it's easier to imply the exact, the same, which is not Q implies not P. So that's the contrapositive of that. And if we prove that, we are also proving that. So for instance, if it is the end of term, that's P, then the students are happy. So that can be written as P implies Q. If the students are not happy, so that's the opposite of Q, so not Q, oops, not Q implies it is not the end of term, not P. It should be pretty obvious to see here that these are equivalent or statements and if you can prove one you're also proving the other one and sometimes it's easier to do not q implies not p than it is to do p implies q so let's do some all right so let n be an integer and consider the statement if n squared is even then n is even write down the contrapositive and prove it to be true as a way to prove the original statement is true okay so what we're saying is um, if n squared is even, that implies n is even. And the contrapositive of that is swapping p and q and knotting them. So, not n, n is even, not n is even, implies not n squared is even. But that's a stupid way to write that. Really, what I should write is n is odd implies n squared is odd. And now we just prove that using some of the same technique. No, now we're just doing a direct proof. So this is just another direct proof from here. So n is odd, uh, what's that? So that's um, n equals 2k plus 1. And then I can square that. So n squared is equal to 2k plus 1 squared. Uh, I can expand that. So I'll get 4k squared plus 4k plus 1. And this is a pretty classic kind of deal here. I'll just bring a 2 out the front uh, and I'll get 2k squared plus k plus 1. Should be obvious here. 2k squared plus k. k is an integer, so 2k squared plus k. 2k squared plus k. Um, we can let that equal n and that's going to be an integer. 2n plus 1. Done. So, recapping, because I've proven the contrapositive, so because I've proven this, then I've also proven the original statement. And there's a little bit of like a little bit of a finish off, but that's the basic idea. Prove the contrapositive, you've proven the original statement. So here's another one we're going to prove by contrapositive. Um, so consider the statement n squared plus 4n plus 1 is even, then n is odd. So P implies Q. So now I need to do not Q. So uh, n is odd is Q. So n is even is not. Uh, n is even implies n squared plus 4n plus 1 is even. I want to do not P, which is means that n squared plus 4n plus 1 is odd. Uh, is odd. And again, now that I've written the contrapositive, this is just a uh, direct proof. So n is even, so that means that n equals 2k. Oops. You know what? I'm not going to talk you through that whole direct proof. I've done heaps of direct proofs now. You can read through that and make sure that you understand what's happening there. But it's one of the classics. Let something equal 2k. Muck around with it until you spit out an odd number, 2m plus 1. Um, factorized in the middle. They're all the same, these ones.
All right, so we're going to prove this one by contrapositive. Let x and y be positive real numbers. Consider the statement, if x is less than y, then this. So if p implies q, then we can write not q implies not p. All right, so uh, what are these nots that we're doing? All right, so if I've got uh, not q, so root x is less than root y, not q would be the opposite of that, which is um, root x is greater than or equal to root y. Need to be careful about what what not less than is. It's not. It's it's greater than or equal to. Uh, that will imply not p. In this case, x is less than y. X is greater than or equal to y, and that's what we need to prove. Uh, X and Y are positive real numbers, so let's go from there. This is actually just a variation of a proof we did in direct proofs. So, so we can start with our root X. Uh, we can square that. And we can start with our root Y, and we can square that. And we can say now that that's the difference of two squares. Root X plus root Y, root X minus root Y. And now we should be able to say that that bit is positive and we should also be able to say uh, given that we've said that root x is greater than root y we should also be able to say that this bit's positive as well uh, if we say that that bit's positive uh, and root x squared is just x and root y squared is just y we can say that um, x minus y is positive times positive which is greater than or equal to zero. So now we can say that x minus y is all of that, which is greater than or equal to, greater than or equal to zero, which is what we wanted in the first place. x is greater than or equal to y. x is greater than or equal to y. A tricky one there, uh, but that's contrapositive. Really what we're looking at is, is flipping those signs.